Oh shit, it's Peter Dinkridge. I know that little guy anyway. You can do this. Oh great. This is gonna be this is gonna be good. Mm. Ah, ah, Lady Marjorie, Marjorie. Aren't, aren't you looking, you looking lovely this evening? Lord Tyrion, your, your Grace. With your With permission, your permission allow, allow me to introduce, to introduce Lady, Lady Mira, Mira of House Forrester. Forrester. <laughs> well. well. Uh, your grace. grace. The girl knows her courtesies. Impressive. You may rise. God. House so Forrester is a northern house loyal to the king. Are they? I beg your pardon, your grace. I wasn't talking to you. Oh, God. I want to hear from the girl. Is your family loyal to the king? Perhaps you should ask the new Lord Forrester. He's not here, is he? She, she is. is. The girl the can girl speak, speak for her house. House Forrester's loyalty to the crown never wavers, Your Grace. I see. And yet. For centuries, the Foresters have been loyal bannermen to House Stark. A house of traitors. Fine. I had to. Yes, Your Grace. They are traitors. The Starks, the Starks were your lead, lead Lord, Lord, yet you named them traitors so easily. Clearly, the Lord is quite a If she, if she has, has any loyalty at all, is, is your house, house willing to swear fealty to your new lead, lead Lord, Lord, Bruce Bolton? Bolton? Yes, Your yes, Grace. Grace. Absolutely. Absolutely. I see. I see. Despite, Despite the fact Bruce, Bruce Bolton allied with Walder Frey. If it was me, I'd find it difficult to so quickly forgive the men who killed my father. Ooh. Old allegiances are not easily abandoned. But now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild and forge new alliances. There are ships and shields to be built, and Joffrey will need a steady supply of ironwood for his armies. I'm told there are others who would happily serve that purpose, but I trust we can rely on House Forester. Foster Iron does seem rather unique. Yes, Your Grace. It would be a shame to see it fall into the hands of another house. I imagine you'd do almost anything to prevent that from happening, wouldn't you? Ask any Lannister, and they do whatever is necessary to save Casterly Rock. It would be unfortunate to see another house lay claim to what's yours. Yes, Your Grace. I would do anything. I see. I see. What would you have the girl do, Cersei? It's not as if she fought beside the Starks, wielding a battle axe with the Northern Army. It raises an interesting question, I suppose. Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the war? Our dear Marjorie here was betrothed to Render Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. Whoa. Can we fault her for her mistake? Should she, Should she be held, be held accountable? I won't, I won't judge her, Your Grace. Grace. I wasn't, I wasn't there. there. I didn't I face her decisions. decisions. Aren't you Are a delightful you girl? girl? If only I'm one could flip through, through life without ever holding an opinion of their own. If there's, if there's a point, point to this, this I, I hope you find it quickly. <laughs> Loyalty can be can such a hard thing to define. This city alone is filled with all sorts of ambitious opportunists looking to reinvent themselves. Pretending to be something they're not. Who knows what lurks within their hearts. You are a girl from the North, here in service to Lady Marjorie. One can only assume her interests are yours. Yet loyalty to a king, that must be absolute, beyond question. And if your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve, what would you do then? Damn! I'm sure she would girl answer the question. Go on. I would be true to the king, your grace. Well said. 
I was beginning to worry you didn't have your priorities straight. She is a threat to the crown, isn't she? The most dangerous handmaiden in all of King's Land. My sense is this girl will say almost anything to get what she wants. Which is not very encouraging. I'd like a word with you, if I may. Of course, Your Grace. Damn it. I'll walk you out. This may come as a surprise, but I met your father once, at the tourney at Manus Ball. Even then he didn't trust Rose Bortold. We only spoke briefly, but your father struck me as an honorable man. You have my condolences for his loss. These would be trying times for your family, even under the best of circumstances. These are trying times, my lord. My family fears what might happen now that the Boltons rule the North. They must still answer to the crowd. You shouldn't forget that, nor should they. That certainly took courage. To so publicly declare your loyalty to Joffrey for all to hear. Poor Lady Marjorie was humiliated, although Cersei seemed quite pleased. It was quite the first impression. I, of course, found it all highly entertaining. I was trying to appease her. I think that was clear to everyone. My sister and I have our differences. She takes great pleasure in her little charades. I take mine in thwarting them. We must find our amusements where we can. She threatened to give your ironwood to another house. It is the master of coin who decides such matters. The crown needs boats. Boats need wood. And I speak for the crown in this regard. Not her. You can help my family. I suppose the crown could be persuaded to secure Ironwood from House Forrester. Ooh. Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance. And it would infuriate Cersei. Although what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you and your house. Are you willing to risk that? It may be far too dangerous. In fact, forget I even suggested no. such a thing. It's a risk I'm willing to take, Lord Tyrion. Please. You are a brave girl, aren't you? <laughs> I'll consider it. Yes. Now, if you'll excuse me, I promise Sansa I will join her for dinner tonight. Three beautiful bottles of Dornish wine await my arrival. The mere thought of them makes me thirsty already. Good night, Lord Tyrion. Just be careful. This is not the norm. King's Landing can be a nest of vipers to the uninitiated. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that was good. Mira, I was worried. How was it? Cersei has a way of looking at you as though you're nothing. It's more than a little intimidating. It went well. Really? That's relief. Cersei is known for being rather difficult. No, oh, yeah, she was. Lady Marjorie has spent the entire day working on seating arrangements for the wedding. Of course, you and I are seated way at the back, here with the fourth cousins and the ninth-born sons. Sir Jamie, I wouldn't mind tarnishing that white cloak of his. <laughs> what? what? It's, it's true. true. Damn. And over in Martell, the Red Viper. I'm told he has a paramour, which I doubt is Dornish for wife. He is quite handsome and quite passionate, from what I've heard. Perhaps Lady Marjorie can make the right introductions. Who knows? We might meet our future husbands. Although marrying a king, I can only imagine what that would be like. Would you marry Joffrey if it meant you'd become queen? He does have a certain look about him, and he's always treated Lady Marjorie well, which is more than you can say for his mother. I don't want to be queen, no matter who I'd have to marry. Don't want, Don't want to be, to be queen. queen, you northerners. 
You'd make him have accept her. Well, well, I would I marry, marry him. him. Imagine, Imagine the power you would have as queen of the Seven Kingdoms. I might even allow you to be my handmaiden. Let's see, who else should we marry off? Brienne of Tar and Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> what a perfect match! Sir Bronn and... What are you doing? Oh shit. Well, well. Sarah? Sarah? We're sorry, We're sorry my lady. lady. We're just having fun. This is this not, is a, not game. a game. It's a, it's battle, a battle plan. plan. Allies, Allies and enemies can be made with every move. move. Yet they say it is men who are powerful. Mm. The, queen the queen was pleased, pleased by your display, display Mera. I'm just, I'm just glad, glad it's over. over. Oh, thank you. King's Landing can be exhausting sometimes. There's always someone to please or some perceived slight to smooth over. I fear it will only get worse when I am queen. Once I know your true heart, the lords and ladies will have no choice but to love you. Do you agree? People are not always so easy to please. If you showed Cersei your true heart, she would stab it with a fork. You learn very quickly. You were brave agreeing to obey the Boltons. That cannot have been easy. I know you must fear what Lord Bolton might do to your family. I do appreciate your willingness to appease her, as difficult as it may have been. Thank you, my lady. There's been something on my mind. Something important. I... I did have a favor to ask of you in return. Whatever you wish to say, you can say it in front of Sarah. There are no secrets between us. It's about my family. I trust her. Fine. She better not say nothing about this. Go on. Go on. Ask. Ask. Forgive me, my lady. I wouldn't otherwise ask this of you, but my mother insisted. It's about my family. Ramsay Snow. What would you have me do? My mother fears our family will suffer if Ramsay is left to do as he likes. She thought... If a raven can be sent to the Boltons to let them know House Forrester has the protection of the crown, I know it's a lot to ask of you. And I wouldn't otherwise, but she insisted. That is no small request, especially now. I know, my lady, and I wouldn't ask this of you otherwise. But my mother has left me no choice. She insisted. Joffrey knows only too well your family fought for the Starks. And now you would have me ask him to intervene. <coughs> Is the situation that dire? You can't, my lady. Whoa. King Joffrey won't like it. Just think how we turned on Lady Sansa. Please, Lady Marjorie, I beg of you. I fear for my family's safety. I don't know, Mera. If Cersei were to find out... Don't, Don't let the let Queen bully you. You have you power, power over him, Lady Marjorie, Marjorie as, as no one else does. does. Not, Not even his mother. mother. Ramsay, Ramsay Snow, Snow will arrive at Ironwrath within the week. week. I, would I would never ask, ask this of you if it weren't so urgent. urgent. Very well. I'll make, I'll make your request, request, but I cannot promise anything. anything. Thank All you, right. my lady. I will send a raven to my family at once. 